Hi, welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. It's Sunday, so it is my Sunday Night Live. I hope you all had a great weekend. We did, we did. We had a nice Friday, we had a nice Saturday, and we had a nice calming today, Sunday. Hi, Viola, welcome. I see some popping on, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Karen, welcome. We're gonna get started in one minute. I'm gonna run and close my door right here, just, just in case, so hold on. Okie dokie, Ken will take care of my mom if she needs anything, so no worries on that. Um, so I'm excited to share with you in one minute this new stamp set. It's called Everyday Thanks. I think we, hi Florence. I think we all need to say thank you a little bit more. Um, and I just thought this set was absolutely darling. Um, I think it was on my second order and I'm just getting around to playing with it now. Hello Roz, welcome. Hey Roseanne, nice to see your name. Um, so it's seven o'clock, so let's get started. Hey Louise. So anyway, uh, this stamp set, let me see if you know which one I'm talking about. If you have your catalog, it's on page 60. And it's the every, hi Joyce, it's the everyday thanks. And it has the cutest um, images for nurses, doctors, police and firemen, coaches of all kind, coaches, uh, PE teachers at school, baseball, football, soccer, coaches of all type, a pencil for teachers. So I just thought it was, a, and then two sentiments, so I just thought it was great to have, to thank all of those that help our children or that, um, I have a, a nurse, my daughter, one of my daughters is a nurse, another one's gonna start school to go to nurse, nursing school soon, about a year, and then I have a, a principal, a vice principal. So a lot of, you know, these um, occupations are in my family. My mother-in-law is a retired RN. My sister-in-law and my other niece are uh, nurses. So, you know, we just need thanks all the time for all these people that help us out when, when, we, most, when we need it the most. So I'm going to turn down and I'm going to show you what I did with this cute little set. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for being here. So let me turn you down. I had talked about um, how I was going to switch over to using cute sets or sets that you could use for children as well. Um, so that's what I've done. And I think this set is a great one. So um, if your school has not let out already, it's a great little uh, card you can put in with a teacher's gift. The, um, the nurses that you visit that help you out maybe in the ER or at the regular office, a police officer that may have helped you or the fire department down the street, just letting them know that you um, appreciate their hard work. So once again, I wanna welcome you all to Stampin' All Day with Bev. I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Andrea. My name is Beverly Morales and I'm your host tonight. And I live in Tracy, California. This is my host code for the month of June. And you can shop with me at beverlystamps.stampinup.net. I also have a YouTube channel under my name, Beverly Morales with Stampin' Up backing that up. My email address is mofun44 at icloud.com. If you have questions for me or want to talk to me about anything whatsoever, um, you can email me there and I will see you really, really quickly. Let me hide this. I meant to cover up her address, so let me get something to do that. Um, I want to announce the monthly winner and the card winner, but I don't want to give her address to the world. So I gotta cover that up. Um, okay, so first of all, who won the card from my last live? This is the card making a big flower, hi Michelle, with the balloon dies and then um, 
using the basic folders for the texture and circle punches for the leaves and teaching you this background and showing you that you could make this flower in different sizes depending on the balloon that you choose to use. So who won this card? My friend Donna, she did, she won this card. Donna, I have a feeling I have your address, but if I don't, please uh, send it to me. Hi, Bev. Um, so I can get that to you, but I'm pretty sure I have it. Hi, Stephanie. Remember, if you start placing orders with me, if you do not already have a demonstrator and you choose me as your creative coach, you need to be, okay, thanks Donna. You need to be sent a rewards form. I've had two people just in the last three days send me their rewards form. They filled them up and now I'm buying them a free stamp set of their choice. That's right, their choice. You're so welcome, Donna. So re uh, remember to ask for this if you don't already have one going. So there is a monthly prize every single month and Idella Wheeler is the winner. She won these cute little in color treat bags. So I have packaged it up. I've put her address on there and I have to run to the post office tomorrow anyway. So I am going to send that to her. I think she's gonna be thrilled. Congratulations. My husband picked a number he picked number 29, and I counted from the first day of the month up to number 29, the 29th order. Oh, you're here. Oh, wonderful. And you were order number 29, and he picked that number, so you won. Congratulations. That will go out tomorrow. Okay, so back to this cute little stamp set. I'm going to show you the cards. Yes, cards in a minute. They are note cards. I want you to notice on page 135 of the current catalog, these three by three envelopes. If you do not have them already, it's nice to have note cards available when you want to do something quick, cute, maybe simple, maybe not so simple. It depends on what you choose to do, but I'm gonna have a couple of ideas for you. Here is the code 159233. You get 40 of the envelopes and they're si they fit a three by three uh, note card. So they're a little larger than three by three. Okay, so I'm gonna set those there next to me. Set the stamp set aside while I show you a couple of the cards. Now I mentioned that I have a vice principal, my daughter, and her name is Mrs. Campbell. So I made a card, a note card, that she would love to receive, I'm sure. On this pencil in the stamp set, on the lines, I thought you could write any teacher's name or any child's name if you wanna use this for a birthday note. Now I was thinking that at the end of school, they get so many gifts. This could be tucked in the coffee cup, tucked in the basket, tucked in wherever um, you need to tuck in a little gift card and you can just write in there your little message. So there is the, the one that I had done for a teacher. And then here is the one for a nurse. Now I, I sent a picture of these to my daughters and they loved them because they would like getting thank yous like this. So this one uses the polka dot folder from the basics. And this one uses the hash, what I call it, the hash marks back here folder. I also used, oh, I didn't bring that punch up with me. I gotta grab it. The Country Bouquet Bundle um, Punch. This is the item number for the punch, 160377. Thanks, Roseanne. And I use the smallest heart in that punch with red cardstock. Okay, and then if you could if you could see these in person, my daughter Heather came over today and she was actually touching and feeling them because that little technique I've taught you about making um, images pop up 
the band-aid all these little dots are they're risen i raised them so you can feel the roughness there and this is on a dimensional so um that was really really cute in person here is the one that could be for a nurse or a doctor right and it has it just looped so there's a little heart in there again on the polka dots and this these are all on watercolor paper so i could watercolor them here is one for that coach that wonderful coach that teaches your children your grandchildren the sport that they're interested in hey joan i thought this was cute and you know there's a lot of female coaches so i painted this one pink and again uh, the lanyard has a heart formed in there which i think is super sweet and look what you could do with the envelopes you could have the envelopes match the background by using the folder for the envelopes as well. Then there's our police officers and our firemen. This is a siren for the top of their car. Look how shiny that is. That is, I use the shimmery crystal effects. Now this is no longer, I, do, I believe this is no longer available. But I know that I told all of my customers that they should get it when it was. And here's a time where I used it and it made the little note card even cuter than it was already. So what do you guys think of these little note cards? You think they're fun? Now, hi, Annie. You know how I've told you. I'm going to say this at the beginning so I don't forget. Oh, good. Thank you for all the little um, thumbs up and hugs. Hi, Melinda. You know how I've told you when you're making cards, let's, let's go to the balloon set that we've been using uh, the past week, and you have extra balloons cut out. Save them in some type of a container, your extra flowers, your extra things that you have already had cut out, and um, have them aside in a little container like I just said and you can grab those and use them on these note cards very very easily so when you have a present that you've just wrapped and you need a quick little note card you have a basket you just filled and you need to throw a note card in it for a raffle for a prize for whatever you're doing look here when you go to your DSP pieces that are already cut out and you just add them to this little three by three card very very simple adorable you right you know stamp or write in here whatever you want for that occasion i had that flower and those leaves just sitting here on my desk in a little container so i grabbed them and as well as the little turtle now remember the other day on the pop-up i made a small flower for the balloon and i said i'm not using the larger flowers well they were still sitting here so he has a flower in his hand originally so i just used the big one you could also use the small one but that technique that i've taught you his little shell is lifted so there is a big hump there so this is very dimensional in person they're very very cute and it's also watercolored and this was originally stamped on shimmer paper which we no longer have so are you guys getting the drift on how cute all of these note cards could be i hope you are i just think they're adorable okay let's move these out of the way and let's work on these two here so here are the basic folders that I used, and I used every single folder. Each background was different, and there is their code. I used 12 by 12 basic white cardstock. You love using small note cards. Good, that's what my daughter said too. She loves, she prefers small note cards. So I used a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock because if these are three by three, you could get eight out of one 12 by 12, right? So I just put the end at three and I'm gonna cut that. And then I will turn this and have the long edge against the trimmer and the short end on the six and cut again. And then I will bring this down to three, use my scoring tool and there's a note card that quick. So if you cut up one 
12 by 12 like this, you will have eight note cards lickety split. Okay. I'm gonna take my bone folder and just get these um, burnished right now. So that part's done for me. I have a whole stack of them here already because I think I'm gonna be loving using these for different occasions. Okay, this is an extra piece. So now we're gonna go to our watercolor paper. Our watercolor paper is item 149612. And I'm gonna try to use my scraps if I can. And yes, these are large enough here, so I will use them for my pencil and my Band-Aid. I use black memento ink for the original image. And I want to remind you that when you get a memento pad, here is the item number, that you should remember to get your refill. The refill number is 133456. If you already have the pad and you need the refill, that was the refill number. Okay. So I'm gonna take, now the other thing I do is I have a, a baby wipe next to me whenever I use black memento because for some reason that is an ink I always get on my hands and I don't want to cause any smears if possible. And then I put all my stamps from the whole stamp set on their blocks in advance of making cards so I don't have to do that. I'm just ready to stamp. They're all on a block. Hi Debbie. Hi Sharon. So I want you to ink this up really well Make sure your ink pad is re-inked well. Stamp onto your watercolor paper. Put your whole palm down on there and give nice even pressure onto that image, onto the stamp. It's a pretty large stamp, so you can give it a little bit of muscle. Hold your paper and lift. Notice I'm giving it time to soak into that watercolor paper. And then we have a nice black image. Okay, I'm gonna move my 12 by 12 and grab my cleaner, my chamois, and clean that off. Okay, here is the chamois number and the cases in case you wanna keep your chamois in a case. There's the numbers there. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing for the Band-Aid. I have my finger on the stamp, the image itself, and I'm tapping. And the same thing I just did. I should check my stamp and now set it down. Put the lid back on this memento that always gets on my fingers. Hey, Margaret. And press and let the ink soak in. Okay, hold my paper, grab the paper somehow with one part of, you know, whichever part that's sticking out past the block. And there we go. Okay. Clean my stamp. All right, now for the water coloring. I've got a little bit of water in a container here and I have my water painters. They're on page 137 and that is their code. You get three in the pack. It looks like this but I'm just using the fine point one today. And when I was uh, gonna color in a pencil, I decided to grab a pencil and look to see the, at the colors to see what I should use. So I've taught you before to burp your pads. Burping your pads is just squeezing them, the, the lid to the bottom, and then opening it up and having your paint palette. This is a very, very light color. Let's see, petal pink, let's see if I have a reed. I do, I have a refill, so it looks like I'm not getting a lot of ink on my, on my lid. So I am instead gonna shake my refill. And I don't know if they need to be shaken or not, but I always shake them. It's just a little habit that I have. And we're just gonna put a few dots onto the lid of the container. Okay, 
The other thing I always have with me while I'm using water painters is a dry towel of some type. And try not to get too much water on here, but just enough so I can paint easily. Grabbing the ink and getting my paint palette right there. So I want my eraser to be petal pink. That was the closest color I could think of for an eraser here. And then also the wood grain of the pencil. Just kind of the same color there. You could make these color crayons, I would imagine. I don't know, they have an eraser, so maybe not. Okay, and then Pebble Path was perfect for the actually actual lead of the of the uh, pencil. And I'm just gonna go light in there. Like that. And then I used pumpkin pie. I'm gonna leave that other one open because I'm gonna use it again for the actual pencil, for the orange color of the pencil. So um, if you're, you're working on watercolor, if you're working on watercolor paper, because you can do this on regular cardstock too, but regular cardstock doesn't take the water as well, so you can't get it too saturated. But if you're working on watercolor paper like I am, Go ahead and get this pretty wet so it it rolls real easy for you like that. Now, isn't that darling? And then I would let that dry, and you could write the teachers, the principals, whoever at school you wanted to give that to, their name right on there. Some of you have beautiful handwriting. Mine's not so great, but, um, for instance, Florence, she, you have beautiful handwriting, so you could... Um, easily write somebody's name on there and make it look gorgeous. Um, I have another downline, Cheryl. She does actual calligraphy. Oh my gosh, I wish I could do calligraphy like her. Well, she practices. She didn't, you know, she deserves the kudos because she works at it. Okay, so I'm just gonna highlight this pencil a little bit. You definitely don't have to do that. You could have been done, but I'm just gonna do that real quick. Let it dry a minute. Get some more dark color on there and then swish it on for some interest. There you go. Okay, so now let's go over. I'm not I'm gonna finish that line, but I'm gonna finish painting first. <clears throat> let's go over to the band-aid. Now I was thinking the band-aid could be for anybody, grandma that helped me, you know, if we our little ones skin their knees or whatever, and we've helped them. Mom could have her child send you a thank you note for fixing my boo-boo. Or this could be for a nurse or a doctor or an assistant at an, an office. The Band-Aid could be also a get well, hope you feel better, whatever you want to use the Band-Aid for. Now I'm trying to carefully go around the little dots because I just stamped this a few minutes ago and black memento ink can run with water if you don't let it completely dry. And I know it's not completely dry yet, so I'm trying to avoid getting right on those lines. Otherwise, if I had stamped this and let it set, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, I would be going over this way faster, but I'm trying not to smear anything because it's too cute of an image to cause it to smear. Any questions so far? I don't haven't seen any. I'm trying to look up now and then. Okay. Hi, Kathleen. All right. So I don't need to color in the heart because I'm going to get a piece of scrap cherry cobbler cardstock. And I'm going to punch out a little heart there. 
and I will be placing that on there in a second. But let's go back to my pencil. And um, on page 137, here's the item number, you will see the pearlized black enamel effects. There's three colors in, there's two different packs. Each one of them has three colors. The other pack that I don't have yet, hey Eva, but I'm gonna be ordering, has silver in it. I much prefer silver for the pencil, but since I didn't have it, I am just gonna deal with the black. And the card has the black on there and it looks fine. It even shines and it's got a silver look to it as well. So I'm, if you already have the black, I'd say just stick with that. But if you want the silver, you don't have any, there is a pack that has silver in it. I'm gonna squeeze this out and use the nose applicator just to push it around in a straight line. And then I'm gonna go back, it just takes an itty bitty bit. I'm gonna go back to my wet painter and I'm gonna smooth this out a little bit more. Now, when you use your painter for this though, I want you to clean it right away, okay? It smooths it out so beautifully. Thanks, Margo. But I want you to clean it right away so this doesn't harden on your paintbrush. And I just used a, a baby wipe. Okay. So let's go back to this one now. This is that little trick I've taught you before. Close up my stamp pads. You need your paper piercing mat for this little trick. And you need your stylus from your Simply Score tool, right? So now, this is wet because I watercolored. It is thick because it's watercolor paper, but still you have to be careful. You just wanna lightly press on each one of the dots if you want the texture in it that I put in this one. Like I said, if you were here and you could, my daughter was actually rubbing her fingers across this saying, oh my gosh, mom, these are absolutely adorable. Um, and then she mentioned that if you packaged them up in a cellophane bag and just gave a variety pack to somebody as a gift, isn't that the cutest thing? Do you think that's a good idea? So now, okay, I gotta press a little harder so I can see. I'm just scared to go through the paper. I don't wanna make a hole. So I'm gonna go back again. It's a little bit harder because I wanna see these marks from the backside. So I can push them forward and have them showing through. Now you guys aren't gonna be able to see it on camera at all, I'm sure. So I can see them. So I'm gonna press them back out Okay, and then this side. It's just a little extra something. You know, when you put a little extra something in your cards, everybody just thinks they're absolutely adorable, don't they? They really appreciate it. Okay, we're gonna take a dimensional, peel off the backing, and set that down. Okay, then I'm gonna take my paper snips and I'm gonna cut that out. Now this one is quite a bit darker in color than the other one and that, do you guys know the reason for that? It's because the other one I burped to my pad and used the ink from the ink pad and this one I used refill. So you use, you know, if you want it lighter, just use the ink that's on the lid from the pad and it'll be light like this. But this is kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's um, petal pink, but it reminds me of the blush. And some of you probably have the blush ink pad. I don't have that anymore because it retired, I believe. I would have picked it up if I saw it on my rack. So if you have that, that's a good one to use for a Band-Aid. Okay, so there's the Band-Aid. And then this is still a little wet, but I'm gonna try to be careful and I'm gonna cut out the pencil. Oh, thank you guys for the hugs. That means you love it and I love it too. I just, I couldn't wait to get here tonight, really. 
I really couldn't. And I have two nice surprises for you at the end too. I showed you all the little note cards that I made already, but I have another surprise. Okay, so this one I'm not gonna write a name on. A lot of Band-Aids now come in other colors. They do, they do. Oh, thank you for saying that, you reminded me. Can you imagine these paper, paper pieced also? Super cute flower pencil, you know, super cute Band-Aid with you know, the Zoo Crew. What, oh my gosh, you could just make them so, so cute. Okay, so let's move these guys over. They're just so cute, I love them. Okay, and bring over my cousin boss or my folder. And I have the polka dots that I'm gonna use for the band-aids. And I chose the polka dots because of the dots here. So we're going to take the polka dots. Now the little card bases are three by three, right? So I cut some cardstock down two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So it will layer onto the card nicely. So we, I want black polka dots. Yes, paper piercing would be so cute. Very, very cute. All right, so let's put some ink on this bad boy right here. And I'm just gonna rub it. And we're gonna see what happens when I put it on this side. Last time I put it on the back side of the folder, this time I'm putting it on the Stampin' Up side. I don't like that streak I see there, so I'm gonna to try to get that streak away. And we'll see what this one turns out like. You can choose either side to ink up and then place this down carefully. Close it up squeeze and then so what this one's going to do i can tell already the background's going to be black and the and the um, dots are going to be white okay let's go through the machine now once you've made put color on your folder you want to take it straight to the sink afterwards and wash that off look how cute wash this off so you don't get anything else black Okay, so now the polka dots are popped up on this, but the background is black. So this one, I did the other side of the folder, and the dots are black, and the cardstock stayed white. So whichever one you like best. I always like to show you the differences. Okay, so we're going to put that together in a minute. But let's go through another piece through the other basic folder. And this one, I thought the little hashtags, because it's a pencil with no ink on it, would be cute. Okay, spine in first, remember. Looking for the lid for my memento, there it is. And platform and away we go so I'm feeling like giving stuff away tonight other than the card that I already gave and Adelia's monthly prize I just feel like giving stuff away anybody want anything ask now ask now <laughs> better watch what I say huh yeah can you give me a big shot please <laughs> Okay, so anyway, the first person I saw get on here tonight, which I, you know, really appreciate it that you come, but me, you're right there, right on time. That was Viola tonight. I'd like to give you this card, Viola. So I'm going to drop that by. All righty, congratulations. I have two of them, and I don't need two. I can, I can give one away, right? So she gets that one. Let me put that aside with Donna's card. Adelia's prize and then I'll bring those over tomorrow when I go to the post office so now we're just gonna layer and we're gonna use our glue you use that hashtag folder all the time I know it's it's uh, you're welcome my dear 
Um, <clears throat> it's, it's one of those that are very subtle and works with everything and anything. So yeah, I use that this one and the polka dot one the most out of this pack of three. And anytime I have, well not anytime, but a lot when I do a floral design, then I, um, then I use the other one. So then I had these other pieces. So this one is three by three. This is two and three quarters by two and three quarters, right? So this would be what? Two and a half by two and a half. Just go down a quarter of an inch each time. Go back to your Momento ink and grab your stamp that says, thank you for, for everything you do. Tap, 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 just like regular. Check your stamp. Make sure it's inked up well. And then I'm gonna stamp that at the top. Hold my paper and lift. Let's do that a second time since we have two little note cards we're making. So if you get these all cut out, like I said, 112 by 12 basic white, and you can make eight of them and then package them up and you're ready for a cute little gift. Hey, Carol. Okay. So now, Mrs. Campbell's pencil, well, I'm gonna leave it flat, is going to go right on this one here. So we can glue those on. Thank you for sprinkling. And then I'm going to go back and show you the other cards again to show you the differences that I that I made. Okay, so this one is going to go up on dimensionals. I'm being very careful not to touch that little silver end of the pencil. It looks like it's dry to me already because I use such a little bit and so thin, but I'm not positive, so I'm going to be careful. So I'm gonna hold it up and put the dimensional down rather than lay it on the table so I don't smear anything. Okay, pull off the paper backings. And now if you win this card, you could add anybody's name to it or leave it just like it is. Now this one's not wet with anything, so we can turn it over and place our dimensionals on here. I cannot believe how many dimensional packs I've been going through and mini glue dots. And the mini glue dots are not available right now. When I saw that, I'm like, oh no, they better come back pretty soon. I only have one box left, so look how cute already. It's not even on the card yet, and I already love it, and I've already made it before. I know I love it, and I'm just loving it again. Okay, so now we go over to the, oh, but this one's going to be different. Look at that with the black and white. That's cute. That one's different than this one. So whichever way you like it best. Now here... I have these dots, so I'm going to go closer to the edge and I'm going to keep my fingers out of the glue by keeping them on the edge of the cardstock. It's usually I don't go this close to the end, but with these polka dots I think I need more glue to have it stay down. Okay. Love it on the black and the white DSP. This one, it stands out quite a bit, doesn't it? Darling. And that's just putting ink on your folders. So if you didn't know that already, you know it now. I want to help this stay down a little bit, so I'm going to take my bone folder and press. Okay. Then I'll grab one of my little three by threes in my stack here, open it flat, lay it down. 
Uh, yeah, I think I like this one better too. I think I do. I love it when I show you guys different ways because sometimes I think, oh, that's so cute. And then when I say, well, what happens if you do the other side? It's even cuter. Okay. There's no ribbon. There's, there's no embellishments. There's nothing on here. Now, again, if you wanted to make that heart shiny, you could go back to your crystal effects or your Wink of Stella and, and add a little bit of glam that way. But these are just too cute now what is my well let me show you let me show you okay so this one has the little sequence um on the end there i forget what you call that part of the the tool but these little sequences they're here the pastel sequences are on page 141 item number 160387 so that just gives that one a little bit of shine there Precious. That's a good word for them. They are precious. Okay, this one I already told you has the crystal effects on there. So it makes the uh, siren look like it's, you know, actually spinning. And then the whistle has crystal effects on the heart right there. Trying to move it so you can see the shine. And so let's see. So this one, this one this one this one five five different ones want to make sure they're all different yep five different ones here put in a little package right is that what heather said put it in a little package tie a little bow at the top and give this to somebody as a gift and then here is if you do matching envelopes how cute that would be this one matches course the last one see how cute but they can all have their matching envelopes so my surprise is whoever wins on Tuesday when I do my to be continued they're gonna win the whole pack the whole pack yeah the whole pack so you're gonna get all of these miss winner so isn't that awesome I hope that you, good luck to everybody, good luck to everybody, and touch and feel when you get them because they're just super, 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 um, you know, textured. Okay, so here's my other, oh, and here is, like I want to remind you, you don't have to just use this stamp set for the three by threes, and the envelopes are on page 135. Okay, so you can use any of your stamps and make your little note cards. Okay, so tomorrow, come back tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I think that's the time I wrote down, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yes, because it's my mom has a nurse tomorrow. So tomorrow at 2, um, I'm going to give you the details on my next online class. I have been um, wanting to go back to online classes, and now I, I'm comfortable doing that. Now, my online class means that all of you can join. All of you can come. Um, I am going to do it on YouTube, so all of you YouTubers can come as well. Now, if you like the um, environment of coming in person, you can do that as well. So I will give you all the details tomorrow, but it will be at the end of July, the last Saturday, um, in July for this class and um, it's going to be called Christmas in July. I'm very probably too excited for my own health about this project that I'm doing Christmas in July. I'm going to show it to you right now and give you all the details tomorrow. Okay so let me move these things out of the way. Did I bring her out here? Did I bring her out here? I thought I did. Um, yes, I did. Okay. So Christmas in July. What, um, well, details tomorrow, because I'm not going to keep you much longer now. But this is what you're going to make. You're going to make one gingerbread girl. And then once you know how to make her, you can make a banner. You can make 
uh, gift tags with her, gift cards. They're pretty, she's pretty big. Um, and then I'm, but I'm going to give you two patterns. One pattern it works for cards. So you could make this and put it on the front of your cards. Are you ready to see her? You want to see her? Look at her. Look at her. Oh my lordy good grief. I love her. Her name is Ginger. And we're, I'm going to teach you how to make her, and I'm also going to show you a little boy, gingerbread also. So if you decide to make garland, you can make a girl boy, girl boy. You can make all girls. You can make all boys, whatever you want, okay? So this will be my Christmas in July class, and you are going to get, um, you're going to, get to learn how to make ginger at my online class. Or if you choose to come in person, it'll be the same time, the same day. You'll also have the link so you can watch it over and over. The only thing I ask is be, people are going to pay to, to have this class. So I do not, I do, I want to ask that you do not share the link. That link is for you that join the class. Okay. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow at two with all the details on that. She makes me happy. You guys know what that is? You guys know what that is? Yep, it's this punch. Too stinking cute, right? Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Have a nice uh, rest of your evening, and I will see you at 2 tomorrow. You are welcome. No questions? Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.